jump through. He's uh, he's a really talented skier, and he has been actually skiing really fast for many years now in training. Uh, we are still waiting for him to really take uh, take the, the step last step up in in, in the races. It's flattering, uh, for sure. It's uh, I think when El Axel is is probably taking the air uh, right now, but uh, it's definitely a big word from him, and uh, it means a lot. He's he knows what it takes, and he's been he's been up there for many many years. And for him saying something like that means a lot, and just uh, gives you the I don't know the the training will to to keep on working and uh, and uh, do the job that it takes. Oh, he's an excellent skier. He's uh, the youngest guy to ever win the overall Europa Cup, but uh, he had some back problems and uh, now he's back. So, um, hey, Janstor is definitely a man to look out for, and I think in all events for, uh, for the future. the last years, uh, also before my injury, I was uh, doing best in technical disciplines, but like mentally I've always considered myself more of an all-round athlete. And uh, as coaches say, uh, speed disciplines, downhill super G takes some, uh, I know it usually takes some years from starting your first race uh, till your actual breakthrough. And so I kind of just sell with uh, good results in the technical disciplines and hope that uh, downhill super G will follow. I think I'm actually a very boring general dude <laughs> from Norway. Uh, well, I'm uh, of course skiing takes a, up a lot of your time, so there's not much spare time to just <laughs> run along and do all that crazy stuff other people at my age do. But uh, definitely play some guitar now and then, though I'm not very good at it. But it's uh, coming along. <laughs> and then uh, I don't play computer games and all that stuff that my generation does. I think. <laughs> 